is that? I have orders to see you to the ruins of all Dread War. Marjorie and Casimir went on ahead of us. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll set off after them. <sighs> what is all this stuff in the air? Move in a group. There's too few of us to accomplish anything by ourselves. Heads up! We need that bridge to reach our people! Struggles are at an end, Tor. Come back! Terrorists will stop! They're not going to stop! Energized. Well executed. That's the last of them. Well fought, everyone. What could the Nightmare Court and the Crate possibly have in common? Their toxic new alliance is obviously the source of the strangeness happening here. What are they planning? Answers will have to wait. Form up on me and we'll cross this bridge and press forward. Okay, let's move! Here's someone to test my poisonous new cocktail on. My gods, now the centaurs are on us. Let's end this quick. I'm all right. Wait, you're no centaur. Oh, gods, forgive me. I wasn't in my right mind. Forget about me. Just get to Marjorie and Casimir. Protect them. Casimir, look. Help has arrived. We'll soon be back in camp. We can pass on what we've learned about the tower, then rest. Rest? I hardly think we'll get any. Now you crawl in the muck beneath us! I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. With that tower looming over us, our odds of finding rest are slim to none. I wish you'd go back to Divinity's Reach. Even slimmer odds of that. Perhaps we should bring our friends up to speed on what's been happening? That tower was veiled with illusion magic until just a short while ago. I found the perfect spell. It was luck, really. It was fantastic. The sky darkened, and... I could sense the magical framework. A mesmer had formed the illusion. She just closed her eyes and raised her hands toward it. Magic crackled from her fingertips. I found the crack in its cloak. A magical poke in the right place, and it dropped like... Like a Norn fart at a moot. Jory. So when the veil came down, there it was. The tower. And the crate. And the nightmare court. They weren't happy. Still aren't. Oh, how are you? We need to deal with this tower. The question is how. It looks impregnable. Appearances are everything, Jory. If it looks like a fortress, it undoubtedly guards something precious. I'd welcome the chance to look inside it, but the base is thick with toxic spore clouds. 
Maybe we need a strong perfume, like what I spray on a hanky when around, uh, aromatic warriors. Exactly. I know poisons. I'm sure I could formulate an antitoxin if I had samples of the spores. Onward. Hello. It's you. The bridge must be repaired at all costs. Do you have a moment? I want that. I'm so glad that's over. They were hallucinations. You sure? I'm sure. Somebody, I'll call her Scarlet, was messing with our minds. Okay. Then let's figure out what she's up to here, and put an end to it. Are you afraid? You should be. Sure you should be. Run for your life! Run for your life! Our serpentine friends are working themselves into quite a frenzy. As long as they believe we're incarnating one of their true prophets, they'll die to protect it. It's a pity that Scarlet didn't stay to witness the realization of her vision. I was skeptical, but I see now that our alliance has borne wondrous fruit. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Stick close to me. One step at a time. in your mind, playing with your thoughts. Don't be discouraged, darling. You can't help being inferior. Ow! Oh, fudge. 
Judge, that hurts. What's the matter? Are you okay? It's just a thorn. I'll be okay. Keep moving. Are you afraid? You should be. You should be. Don't look behind you. Why don't you just give up? We must be almost there. The air is growing thicker. She better be up here too, or I'm gonna be disappointed. Your friends are all dead! You can thank me later. Oh, look who's arrived just in time to bear witness to our moment of triumph. Now, infidels must not be allowed in the presence of our prophet! Now, no need to be rude. Don't you imagine your prophet is up to this pathetic challenge? Kill the infidels! <laughs> Pay no attention to the cutie in the corner. Far be it for me to interrupt your big death scene. On the other hand, nothing wrong with a little anticipation. We've been having so much fun, haven't we? Ah, the memories. No one even noticed the strings on my Flame Legion and Dredge puppets. <laughs> Yay me! And I made them dance so pretty. Although, I suppose I did go a bit cuckoo with my crew. And crew? <laughs> Lions are to be talking about that hoo-ha for, oh, generations. But my favorite performance to date was Queen's Jubilee. <laughs> oh, sigh. I do miss the charming Lord Farron and his fancy panties. I should tell you, by the way, I'm done here. This extravaganza couldn't have turned out better if you tried. But don't be sad. You'll see me again. Just not before I see you. <laughs> For the occasion, I believe this calls for you. That'll do. Okay, that's how you want to play it. You are amazing. God's bless. It's been weeks and it's still alive. We get close and something interferes. It has to be one of Scarlet's tricks. I'm so tired. What are we missing? Not we. Me. I'm missing some key element. I'm so exhausted I can't see it. Will you have a look around? See if you can spot the weak point of these magical defenses. We'll be here if you need us. Bottle us again.
damn Scarlet's eyes. She knew we wouldn't be able to just kill this plant. That's what I'm talking. It knows what we're about to do. And what exactly are we about to do? We're going to pump every last ounce of my antitoxin into the stock of this thing until it can't take another drop. <laughs>
I want that. Hello. I wanted to congratulate you on solving the Counselor's murder. My, aren't you a big boy? One of the biggest in my homestead, actually. I'm Bran. Pleased to meet you. Well, Bran. I don't currently have any mountain-sized acquaintances. So the pleasure's all mine. You can call me Marjorie. Hi there. I'm Casimir, Marjorie's assistant. Are you the ones who went after Scarlet? Yeah. I'm Bran, and that's Rox. Hello. I bet you two turn heads when you break through a crowd. Funny. I was thinking the same thing about you. <laughs> well, then I'm doubly glad to meet you. It's you. Glad to see you. 